Hey, welcome. So today we're going to talk about reconciling your checking account, something that you need to do because uh, you write checks, you use the ATM, and sometimes you forget things, sometimes there's errors, and basically the question is, well, how much money do I actually have? What's what's the real amount in my register? And so the reconciling your checking account is just a way to keep track of uh, sort of checks and balances, making sure that you really have what you what you think you have. So what you're going to get from a bank is you'll get some sort of monthly statement. And the monthly statement we've looked at, you know, forms of them in classes, the simple one we'll use for here. It gives some indication of how much money you had at the beginning of the month, what kind of deposit you made, what kind of withdrawals were taken, and then their ba your balance at the end of the cycle. So in this case, it was February 6th of, well, 2005, but it doesn't really matter what uh, year it is. Uh, then it might list out what your deposits were, list out what your withdrawals were, and then separately what the checks were. So withdrawals are when you uh, use the ATM, when you, you know, swipe your card at a restaurant or a store, and then checks are when you actually physically write a check, and there's this little indication that you may have uh, skipped a sequence in the skipped a place, so you know, 257, 258, you can see what number's missing, so sometimes that's a hint as uh, things that haven't cleared yet. The other side of of that is you'll get what's called a reconciliation form. It's usually printed right on the back of the statement and it basically kind of it walks you through what you need to do. And when you're doing a reconciliation, you're just basically trying to make sure that what you say you have in the checkbook matches what the bank says they that you have in your in your account. And it takes into account things that haven't ca cleared yet and helps you to remember to find things out. You know, to remember that, oh I forgot to take that uh, that cash out. So in order to do a check reconciliation, you need the you need the form that the bank gives you. You need this little form, and you need your check register. Okay, and so we're going to walk walk our way through how to actually do this reconciliation process right about now. So, oops, I need to go to a uh, different little format here, and I think I want the one more screen over. That's the one we are. So let's see if I can't make this a little bigger. Can, so you can see it. Okay. And we'll make this one a little bigger so we can see it. I think we will. All right. And I don't know if you can see that bottom number, but you have this form in front of you. So at any rate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab hold of a pen and we're just gonna go through and we're gonna see what uh, what cleared, what didn't clear. Let's start with the deposits. 653.14. Do we have a chat? Do we have a do we have one for 653.14? Yes, we do. Okay, so that one's good. We check it off there. We check it off here. 297.18. Got one there. Got one there. Okay, so we've got one on both sides. Then we go through our withdrawals. So did we take cash on January 20th? 40 bucks. Now notice the dates don't match up. Uh, back in the day, the dates might not have matched up on some of your ATMs, but now ATM and that stuff is automatic. As soon as you take the money from the ATM or from any store, it automatically comes out. You don't have like a day of grace period. So it's called, they, they're live. So on these statements, you might see that some of the dates don't exactly match because back then you could take the money out on say Thursday night and it wouldn't show up in, in the account till Friday. Uh, but right now it's instantaneous. So we check them off there. We've got this 5812 here. That's a really lousy check mark, but we go there. Uh, 3718 at Walmart, okay. And Pizza Hut, twenty-eight dollars. Excellent. Okay, so we've got all of those, all of those checked off. Okay, so we've got all my withdrawals, all my ATMs. I've got my deposits, and then we look and uh, look at the checks. So check number two fifty-seven up here for one hundred eighteen dollars. You want to always check to see that it really matches what you think it should match. Fourteen sixty-three. Check seventy-eight twelve. Where's that one? Seventy-eight twelve. And finally, 3518. Okay, so I didn't do it here, but one big check for all of them because we've got them. Okay, so you can see that we've got uh, we've got some things that haven't cleared the bank yet. So for some reason, these Demarsh property people haven't cleared the check. Uh, for some reason, some ATM withdrawal didn't quite make the statement, even though it was two days before this. But who knows what happened? And uh, we had a deposit, and we took some cash actually the day after the statement. So we'll need to reconcile to make sure that you know the bank says that we have five hundred and fifty-four dollars and sixty-six cents. Uh, my account says I've got one hundred and sixty-six dollars and seventy-six cents. Which one's right? Okay. So we're done with the statement port portion of things. We now go on to the reconcile portion, and I'll make this bigger so that we can write in it. 
move it over a little bit. Okay. So, which I remembered what that number was. But we want to go back and we need to have, oh, there it is, 55466. See if I can remember that. 55466. $554. That's off. The $554. 66. So that's the last balance that was shown on the statement. So that's what the bank thinks you have, $554.66. To that, we're going to add deposits that weren't included in this statement. Let me go to a different color so we can see which ones we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about this, $118 right there. All right. So we're going to add $118. Now that's really bad to this. Okay, and we'll get a subtotal. So we'll add these up, and I'll just add them in my brain here. So we're going to get $66. Uh, 4 plus C is 12. Carry the 1. That becomes 7. And this becomes 6. So $672. Okay? Now we've got a list of the things that weren't that didn't clear. So we look for basically places where we didn't have a check. And so check number 259. For four hundred and twenty-five dollars, we got to take into account that one. Okay, uh, my cash ATM will just list it at for sixty dollars. I'm not staying in the lines, but that's okay. And then we've got another cash of twenty dollars. Okay, so we've got. These things, there's nothing else on there. We just double check. We checked off everything from the register, uh, and we just listed off these other things that didn't the bank didn't know about or didn't get to us. Uh, and so my total is five. Uh, hard time with the pen here. Let's see. So this is two plus six plus two is ten. So that's a zero. And then carry the one. So five hundred and five extra dollars. Okay. So we're going to subtract. The total. So we take that total of things that didn't clear, $505. We subtract 66. 2 minus 5 is 7, or like 12 minus 5 is 7. Carried the 1 there, so this becomes a 6. 6 minus 5 is 167.66, and yeehaw. Okay, we agree. $166 or 100. Oh, what's the matter? What happened? Mm hmm. We don't agree, do we? What happened there? I went 187.66, and let's see, I subtracted 20. So if I subtract 20 from 187.66, what should I have gotten? I should have gotten, let me erase that because it's not erased very well. It's just not responding right well. All right, so what I should have gotten, and when I subtracted 187 from 166, you know, 20 from that, I should have gotten a 160. Seven, uh, 66, right? And so what I ended up doing in a rush is I just transposed these digits, and that happens sometimes. So this is a way to check, and it would be a 90 cent error, which really shouldn't make that big a difference in the world. But if you make a 90 cent error every month, and eventually, you know, you're every week, you're going to be off by a whole lot of money. So, so we just want to check that. And so what I would probably have done if I were, if this was uh, my checkbook, I probably would have just done this and fixed it. 167. 66 instead of the other way around, and now we agree, okay? So this is just a quick little subtraction. It wasn't even a subtraction error. It was just a, one of those, if you, if you did it in the calculator, a transposing error. So you make sure that we agree, and we do now. So that's good. It's good to know. With reconciliation, you really have to do it monthly. You can do it almost daily online. You know, just check your balance online and see where you are, and uh, that's about it, okay? So you'll want, we'll want to be good at rec reconciling accounts. You want to show me that you did this particular reconciliation. I got another one that I want you to do pretty soon, and we'll do these periodically just to to get it in your brain because it's one of those things that you really should know how to do as you uh, as you work through your work through your life. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Talk to you soon.